Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tisha and how are y'all doing? Um, it's so um, spring, I think officially today. I'm filming this on Saturday, uh, March 20th. And so we have made it to spring. It felt like this was a short winter and maybe just cause winter was like a whole year, 2020. But um, one thing I thought would be fun, like I said, in the last video, I've filmed a few today. So if I'm looking a little rough, that's why. Um, but as spring comes out, you're always going to see a huge influx in products. And so one thing, I mean, I always shop, you see it here. Can't deny that now that I'm putting it on YouTube. Um, I could deny it before I could hide that stuff real good. But, um, one thing I always like to do when the seasons change is to go through what I already have. So I'm not rebuying very similar things because obviously if they're in my collection, I already like them. So I find myself buying very similar almost duping my own stuff because I don't go through or take the time to look and see what I already have. So what I'm gonna do today is a ranking video. Just the, it's just 10 palettes. Well, it's actually more than 10, but like 10 brands for sure um, of palettes that I have in my own collection that very much remind me of springtime. I got a little itch there. So <clears throat> purples are my jam. Um, I'm not wearing purple today. Today I'm wearing this palette, which will be in a favorites because I'm loving the browns and um, it doesn't look too bad, but I got a pop of blue on today. I am a pop of blue girl, but I love pastels and I love purples. And so in the springtime, that really is, those are the palettes that draw me in, especially for that time of year, you know, in the fall, I'm looking for the grungy looks. And then in the winter, I'm looking for that, um, you know, the glam palette and the really nice shimmery glittery colors. And in the summer, I want the like bright, vibrant colors. But in spring, I like a lot of purple, some green and some pastel colors. So these palettes all inspired me to pull them out and put them in my rotation for the next few months for sure to get more use out of them. And so I thought I would just share, sorry, the dog's barking because there's lots of kids outside playing today because it's beautiful out. And so he likes to let me know there are people. Do your dogs do that too? Um, so some of these are available, some of these are not, but you can find stuff that is very close. So I'm gonna put the unavailable ones at the end. Are in like I'm gonna do this in like a ranking, like 10 is palettes I like and I'm gonna use, one is like palettes I recommend. So the first one I'm gonna start with, and I'm gonna to try to not make this 100 years long. So I'm gonna pull out my Smashbox. This is the Cover Shot Pinks and Palms palette and you're gonna see why in a second. And look at all that pink and that mint and that peach and this lilac. This is perfect for spring. And I think that's the last time I used this palette, to be honest. This isn't available. They do have other cover shot palettes. These were not highly loved here on YouTube, but this was one that the color story spoke to me. So I picked it up, but don't you just feel like, I mean, I feel like this could be one of those spring into summer transitions with the hot pinks, but this mint green was one that I think it's the only one I had in my collection up until another palette. And I liked to play with that color during the springtime. So that one is not available anymore, but you can find those palettes, Ulta, Sephora, Smashbox. Smashbox in general is not a brand I hear about anymore. The next one, you can still find this palette, but they've already replaced it on Ulta where I pur purchased it. But it's the LA Girl Break Free. And this is a very affordable brand. Um, I think this is 15, but they're always on sale at Ulta. It's one of those brands that they always have on sale. So I don't believe I paid more than $8 for this, but look at this color story, if I could open it. Sorry guys. So here's the color story. Ooh, look at all that purple. And you can see some of my favorite shades. I think he's gonna stop. Okay, he's gonna stop. So all these purples, I get a lot of use out of, and they are, that spring purple to me. So there's some vibrancy, but there's also some pastel and there's some pinks too and glitter. So this is just a very fun one to play with. They do not have this one available in Ulta, but they did have a desert dream, which just looked like a little bit more of a pink version of this. And that one's brand new. So I would recommend that because pinks and purples to me, you can mix and match them and create lots of different looks depending on how deep you want to go with your purple or how hot pink you want to go with your pink. So this one I loved, and if you know me, you know it's probably the butterflies that got me. But like I said, I wanted to include some affordable ones as well. And then I have two from BH Cosmetics just because they're so similar. But this is a brand that I just definitely wanted to mention because they always have a sale. I think right now on their site, this one might be eight and this one's six dollars. And this is really good quality. So I've bought this, I've had it for a very long time, but it um I love the pastel and the peaches and the pinks, but also I can stick to the browns and make a nice neutral look for work. 
Um, and this is the Hanging in Hawaii palette. But also this is newer to me. It's the Chillin' in Chicago. And I did get this idea for this video. I watched Mandy Lee's video and Samantha March. Um, I, I'm too new to YouTube. They won't let me link them, but I am mentioning them now. So I didn't think of this idea, but I think a lot of people do it. But I do know that Samantha March include this one. And this one's got some nice fun golds as well as those pinks and some orange and peach. So this one I like because it's inspired by Chicago, which is kind of close to where I'm from. But the price on these for the quality is really, really good. And I mean, with BH, it can be hit or miss, but these palettes are very good quality. So those I'm pulling out for spring. And then, you know, I wanted to include this brand because it's a brand that I always keep my eye on. And this is from Marlena um, Makeup Geek. And these are some singles that I have. And she does sell these sometimes in bundles, but you can get every single one of these singles for six bucks. And like I said, you can get the palette and kind of make your own thing. And I think I probably did this when there was a sale of like buy one, get one free. So they were like three bucks a piece. But the quality of these is so buttery. Um, I've always loved Makeup Geek. I had the round, I had the Mani MUA collaboration. I've had a lot of, um, sorry about the light there. So new to this, um, I don't, hope I didn't blind you guys. I've had a lot of different products and I really, really, really love the quality. But there's a few shades in here that I really do recommend. I thought I would at least mention those. This two, uh, it's Tucson Sun is like the perfect transition shade for me. Also, um, this one I think is Peach Smoothie. Okay, I can see it without even looking. This is a great shade to put all over the lid after you put on your eyeshadow primer and it just neutralizes any maybe discoloration you might have on your lines. And then these shimmers are really pretty. You can do something in the crease in a shimmer and looks like you've spent a lot of time. So Makeup Geek is just a brand I don't want you to sleep on. And they probably have, I haven't even looked recently, probably have a ton of brand new shades that are out for spring. So you can make your own palette. I think that's very fun. This is one that I made. Look at that, you can see other palettes there. But um, I think I did anyway. I have like four of them. So this was either a bundle or one that I made, but I think I switched shades in and out anyway. So. There's that, you can, uh, those are available too, by the way, on the Makeup Geek website. Um, ColourPop Nine Pans, the, this is a brand that, if you already know, you know. Um, I have a couple of different ones, but I would recommend either of these just because of the pastel. And sometimes I'm a dork and I keep my packaging because it's so cute. I don't know why I do that. Not on everything, obviously. It would take a hundred years to do these kind of videos. But this is the Cloud Spun palette. And I've made a couple of really pretty fun pink looks with that. And then this is Lilac Eula. And this is newer to me, but I bought it because spring. That's just gonna be a very fun purple color story for me to play with. And ColourPop always has a sale. I think they have a 25% off sale right now, but these palettes are usually 14, but I don't think I've ever paid more than eight or nine for them. Um, and for a nine pan palette, it's just really easy to create a look with that. You can kind of see it like in the lines, you can go that way. I mean, you can kind of just like, you need like a transition, a deeper one for the corner, and then just one of these shimmers. And like I said, it puts your look together for you, which I really, really love. So that is ColourPop and those are still available. One thing with ColourPop though is that, not sponsored as you guys know, um, <clears throat> one thing with ColourPop is that things sell out very quickly and they don't come back. So it's one of those things where maybe take inspiration from the color story. You, those are available right now. I looked this all up just because I didn't want to be recommending something, but that could change very quickly. So, um, but they have other, like if you're more of a peach person or you're more of a blue or green or brown, they have a nine pan for you at this point. They have even there's like a watermelon one that I kind of love, but I'm trying to save from ColourPop because I don't need any more. I, I need to love what I have. This is the smallest and most affordable palette, but it, these are newer from e.l.f. and I um, only got the one. I got the chocolate mint. Yes, chocolate mint. And these are those uh, four pan palettes. This was four dollars. They used to be three. I don't know why they went up in price. But this is like the most easy look you could do to make a fun spring look because it's really just your basic neutral brown eye with a pop of green. But this is the newest mint to my collection. Like I said, I only had that one before in the Smashbox palette. This I've made some really cute looks with and I've only used these three. But now in the spring, I'm gonna pop in that mint green and I'm really excited for that one. So this is available at Walmart, Elf's website. I don't know if this is available at Ulta. A lot of makeup is, but um, this one I think is easiest just to get at Walmart then you know, it's gonna come to you intact. That's a lot of the time, the problem with ordering from Ulta is they'll throw this in with a candle or a shampoo and 
wish it off the best and then you gotta call for a replacement and it's not worth the hassle. So check out Walmart. I'm sure maybe even Target has that too. Number four, this is a palette that I actually picked up at Christmas time. It came in a pack of three and I had all the Tarte palettes at one point, but then I had decluttered them. And then this one came out with um, <clears throat> the toasted one and the Tartlet one. And I thought minis were better. I do like a smaller palette. I am not very creative. I'm very much like transition, deepen up the outer corner, throw on a shimmer. So I don't need a big palette. The ones that I have were bought for other reasons, either like a collab or I didn't know that I wasn't gonna make up when I bought them. That's possibly it. But this one's super easy to use because it's so small. So there's a new one out and that's the one I have to talk about because they don't, this was a Christmas exclusive, but it has these shades and it's the Juicy um, and it's $45. You can get it at Tarte, Ulta, Sephora. Um, it's still available. It looks beautiful and it's this one like on steroids because I think it has like 30 shades maybe. I want it, but I don't need it because I have this, but um, this is going to be so fun to play with for the spring. I did a few looks at Christmas time because it's makeup, there's no rules, but I knew when I got this that it would be perfect to pull out for this transition time. So very happy to have this and you could get the bigger one if you are interested. Um, I'm not selling anything, so you could probably go to ColourPop's website and find that or Makeup Geek's website and make that. So that's just, that's what this is all about. Just some sharing, some makeup fun. So number three is um, the, oh yeah, I know. I, I, I thought I messed up, but I didn't. I only rank them on paper because sometimes in the moment, I don't know which one I wanna put in what order, but um, this is the Mercury, Mercury, this is the Mercury Retrograde Palette from Huda Beauty. And Huda Beauty is stunning and all of her makeup is so cool. And I <clears throat> had bought a ton of those nine pan palettes. I still have uh, quite a few, but this one I bought specifically because it was a spring color story. I do feel like in my makeup collection, spring is the most neglected season. Maybe because I just feel like I do my makeup more in the fall, in the winter, and in the summer, it's gonna be, if it's not gonna melt off my face. But spring sometimes gets neglected. And you can use whatever you want, whenever you want. But when I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, that'll be so pretty for spring. And look, another mint. So I really have stuck to these purples because I love purple, but I'm gonna uh, venture out and try some of these blues. I have a pop of blue on today. And this palette is just so pretty. This is the most expensive palette at 67. I did not pay that, um, but look for a sale. It's available on her website and you can get it at Sephora. But, um, you know, also she has some smaller nine pan palettes that are like $29. So definitely can buy something more affordable too. But this one I really, 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 really liked. So I had to include it. And then the last two are like no brainers for me. I mean, I have a couple of runner ups too, cause I'm really not really good at 10, but this one would have been my favorite, except for I have one more that I just, it, it doesn't even beat it at all. But this is the um, Mel Thompson collab with Sydney Grace. Sydney Grace is, you have to try Sydney Grace if you're into makeup. If you're into eyeshadow, look on there. They have a Christmas and July sale. It's like you could get like almost everything on the website for like next to nothing. Not next to nothing, but really good priced. It's an indie company. I think it's a couple of sisters and they're, I've watched some um, interviews with them and they're just the sweetest, kindest, nicest people. Being an indie brand, they send out a ton of makeup to influencers, which I think is cool because I'm sure that's really expensive. But they collab with one of my favorites on here, Mel Thompson. She's just so pretty. She's so talented. I won't go on and on. You guys already know if you follow makeup people, but she came up with this palette and I do think I tried to get this on the first day that it came out. I don't think I did though. I think I had to wait for like the second go around. Um, but I use this love bug and this, is it scarab? Scarab all the time. This is just the most unique look I can make right here. Transition, deepen it up, throw this all over. But there's so many fun shades in here. Web is really fun for any look. This neon lilac is beautiful. Um, Fire Butts is really pretty. And she had her tattoo artist design this, which I just thought was super cool. And again, I, I'm not even, I'm not sponsored by Mel either to talk nice about her. But um, there's a lot of creativity that went into this palette and it makes me feel creative. And like I said, I don't know how to do makeup very well, so. When something can inspire me to be creative and try something new and not just do the neutral brown look that I'm, is my signature look, um, I really, 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 really like it. So this is my high-end favorite and it's not really high-end. I think it's 52, 
but go online and find your favorite influencer. They probably have a code. So I know Mel has a code. There's a few people. You can just use their code and get like 20% off or something really nice. And so I know I didn't pay maybe $40 for this, but I, I recommend it for the 52. So um, right now this is sold out, but I know that they're planning another restock. So you can sign up for their um, website and they will let you know when it restocks. And so I had to put this palette at my number one spot for spring because I've already been pulling it out. Um, I didn't wait for March 20th for this palette, but, and I also wanted to include the most affordable because I like high-end makeup, but I get the price tags kind of can, that could be too much. So this is a very affordable palette. It's the Flutter by from ColourPop. And you can see that I love this palette. I mean, it's, there's dips in them and it's all dirty and gross. Sorry about that. But this just makes the prettiest look. And I just really, really like purples. I have green eyes and so purples look really nice on me. Um, this is available on ColourPop. It is, I think on sale, but it's $14 regular price. But again, ColourPop always has a 25% off sale. So sign up for their emails and just wait for them to send you one that says 25% off site wide and you can get this for even cheaper. But there is a pressed glitter in here that I don't mess with that. I don't mess with that life because I would be wearing it on my cheeks. But this color is so pretty all over the lid. This one is stunning all over the lid. Um, there's so many transition shades in here for me. The, it's um, one I don't even have to think about. I just swipe on a medium tone color, swipe on something to deepen it up, throw on a shimmer, and I look so put together like I really, really tried. So this one, I would, I mean, I've said this before about like the That's Tote palette. The first couple times I use this, I start to think I should get a backup because someday this won't be available and I'll have like gone through this whole thing. And I don't know why that seems crazy to me saying out loud to you guys. It seems totally the same when I say it to myself. But um, no, that is, uh, that is, that is it. That is, I'm not going to buy a backup. I'm going to just enjoy that palette, just spoiler alert. But I do have a couple more I want to show you just from a, the same brands. This is from ColourPop 2. And I would have probably maybe switched this out with the Smashbox one since you can't get it anymore. But I had a lot of ColourPop in here. So I wanted to include a different brand. Um, but this is the Sweet Talk palette. So it's just super pretty with the corals and the peaches. And then also, these are new to me. I got them in subscription boxes, but this is a full face of makeup for spring. So I wanted to definitely at least talk about them. They're the mini mix palette. So that's not in my top 10 because I haven't used them yet. I can't really, I mean, this could have been, but I had like four color pop palettes. These I haven't used, but the quality of Ofra's makeup is, I've never ever had a problem. But I got two of these palettes. Um, one was in a mystery bag and one was in like a subscription box. But this one's Secret Garden and this is good to go. And these just are so spring but it's got a highlighter, a bronzer, a blush, all these eyeshadows, and that just looks like it's gonna put together a really nice spring look. And then Secret Garden has a little bit more of a purple and green color story, but again, I think that's gonna look really nice for spring. Um, this bronzer looks pretty dark, but I'll figure out, maybe that's just a giant eyeshadow. And this blush looks really, really pretty. And the highlighters from Ofra are like stunning. So the, I, the highlighters alone are 35, and I think these palettes are on sale for like 20 something, but again, find an influencer that has a code, like Samantha March has a code because she has collabs and Jen Loves Reviews has a code. So just find one of their codes. It does help them out with either a commission or like letting Ofra know that you, um, that you used, do they, you're sent, they're sending you traffic. They're sending, you're sending, I get really lost sometimes. It lets them know that that person that you've chosen is sending traffic to their site but it gives you a discount and you get like 20% off or 25% off. So it's everybody's winning. You know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to say. And these are just a full face of makeup. So for $20, you can have a blush, a highlight, a bronzer, and you can put these wherever you want. You know, there's no rules. So I had to mention them, even though I haven't tried them, they just came in subscription boxes and I pulled them into my spring mix. So I'm gonna leave this basket here with all my spring palettes and I'm gonna love on these and it's gonna help me not to buy um, makeup that I don't need because it looks like I have everything, right? I don't, but I could very easily. And I encourage you to go into, this is not a short video, dang it. Sorry, friends. I encourage you to go into your collection and find some spring palettes. Find what is your color story that you like? Is it purples? Is it pastels? Is it mint green? And go and see if you've got some. And that might help you not buy all the things or maybe you'll like one of these palettes and it could be your spring palette. I mean, you probably only need one eyeshadow palette. I just can't live that life but uh if you can that is 
very cool and I'm jealous of you. <laughs> but that's going to do it. Thank you so much. Like this video, comment down below, consider subscribing. I'd love to have you here. Um, I'm going to bring you more content very soon. Um, I have a get ready with me coming up. I'm going to do, I'm, I'm very nervous too, because I don't feel like I have that much talent, but I do have some new hacks I found on TikTok and different videos. I wanted to kind of bring all together some newer things that we could be doing to make ourselves look very put together. And I picked all affordable products that I'm already using. So that worked for me and my skin tone and everything. So what I'm asking is if you watch this to this point and you have any kind of a question for me, I would love to stick to a script. I ramble on and on. Don't know what I would pick if I didn't have anything. So if you've thought of any questions, leave them down below and I will kind of incorporate that into that video. Um, and that's going to be coming very soon. But until then, take care of yourselves. Thank you. Bye.